Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draklic and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can use a technique, how you can apply in Blender a technique that is already known in some other 3D packages as lathing or uh, lofting and it is useful for uh, modeling, quickly modeling, using curves, some, uh, you know, uh, symmetrical, uh, cylindrical objects such as a glass or a vase or a perhaps a pond, a fountain, I mean, and things like that. So let's go ahead and get started with a brand new scene. So I'm pressing Ctrl N and I'm opening a new uh, scene here. Okay, and I want to switch over to my front view by pressing 1 on Ampad 5 to switch over to my orthographic view and I want to add Shift A, a curve circle. Alright, now I want to also go ahead and add Shift A, a curve Bezier curve this time. Okay, you can see it's somewhere here. Alright, now let's switch back to my front orthographic view. I want to select my circle and I want to go up here to the object data button of the of the properties window, click on that and go down here to the where it writes bevel object and select the Bezier curve as our bevel object for the circle. Now I want to select my Bezier curve, I want to tap into edit mode and I want to rotate it along the Z axis by 90 degrees. Now you can see, if I move somewhere here, that this point of the curve controls the lower, uh, you know, uh, section of the of the of this object here, this vase or glass, all right, whatever. And this point of the curve controls the upper end of the of this uh, object here. So what I want to now is to make this curve fit the profile of my object, this uh, object here. So let's switch back to my uh, to my front orthographic view. I want to tab out edit mode for my curve and having selected my curve, I want to rotate it along the x-axis. Let me first switch over to the wireframe view mode along the x-axis so and by 90 degrees and I want to by pressing control, hold down control so you can snap your curve to the grid, alright, and move it by increments and move it somewhere here. Now, what we have now is that if I go back to the solid uh, shaded view and tap into the mode for my profile curve here, you can see that I can very easily, uh, you know, shape and reshape my uh, object, my glass, whatever, here through using very easily through using. Uh, curves. This is a very nice way for modeling uh, and it's called uh, lathing in some other packages or lofting uh, in some other packages, 3D packages I mean. Alright, so now uh, there we have many options now for creating a very interesting uh, shape here. First of all, I could select all of the, of the points of my curve by pressing A, W and subdivide them so I can add yet another detail, some detail here, I can always go ahead select any point and press V and switch over from this pop-up window, change the type, let's say to vector, so now I can create also sharp, you know, uh, here corners if I want, and you know, I can do something like this, I can do something like so, many many new shapes, as you can see, I can move it somewhere here, alright, I can do something like so if you if I want. So many new shapes here can be uh, you know uh, modeled very very easily through using this technique. Now perhaps I would like to go down to this one and press V, convert it into a vector type. All right. I could also add yet another one. Okay, by switching over to the front view, and I want to uh, press Control and left. Uh, mouse button, alright, press down control so, so that it snaps, you know, or equally you could use this little magnet down here, alright, so it can snap to the grid, alright, now, as you can see, alright, so I have created also this kind of, uh, you know, of shape here, now let's uh, move it somewhere there, let me play a little bit around with the shape, 
all right and you can see that uh, we can create different various interesting you know uh, shapes here all right something like this this one uh, now all right something like so and you get the meaning all right very very interesting shapes there and uh, very very easily that's the most important thing of it so uh, now let me show you that before you want to convert it into a mess if you want to convert this object into a mess you want perhaps before to go select go ahead select this object and you want to go to the this little cube icon over here and enable the wire uh, you know uh, check the wire option here from the display tab so you can see the subdivisions, the number of subdivisions it's going to have when we convert it into a mesh. Of course, you can change the subdivisions for the circle, right? So you can lower down the detail by going to the object data and you can scrub the slider here, all right? Play around with the slider, all right? And also you can select the profile curve and do the same and play around with the you know the detail of your uh, profile curve so you can have the exact amount of detail you are going for all right okay so now you can always go ahead and add as many subdivisions and if you want by selecting any two points subdivide them and then you can play around with the shape and you can move of course your all right your points here Alright, you can make them sharp and, you know, vector, meaning vector, and you can then reshape them. Many, many interesting options here, I guess. Now, for this shape here, if you wanted to uh, to add a some thickness, alright, to the walls of the of this, uh, of this shape, you want to go to the modifier tabs and add a modifier, solidify modifier, okay, and Perhaps you might want to also add a modifier at split, so you can have some, uh, you know, sharp edges as well. All right, so something like so, and you can keep uh, playing around uh, by selecting your profile curve, all right, here, and you can tab into the mode and keep playing around with the shape and have the shape of your, uh, you know, uh, of your uh, that that you like best. Anyways whatever and uh, yeah so uh, that was our tutorial for today i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from this if you like this don't forget to subscribe see you next time with another hopefully interesting topic hopefully soon until then have fun and goodbye